With its drive to build a fully independent aircraft industry, Russia has stunned the global aviation world with a major breakthrough in the development of its domestically produced MC-21. While Western aviation continues to struggle with production delays, quality concerns, and fragile supply chains, Russia is quietly forging an aviation empire of its own, one that few nations in the world could ever replicate. But how far has the MC-21 program advanced? Why does Russia's aviation power pose an escalating threat to the dominance of Western manufacturers? Let's uncover. The story of the MC-21 is nothing short of extraordinary. It did not begin easily, nor was it successfully built in the short term. Instead, it is the product of relentless determination, a technological marathon designed to free Russia from its reliance on foreign partners. When Western sanctions tightened their grip, Russia did not falter. Quite the opposite. It transformed adversity into fuel, accelerating the march toward full-scale localization with unprecedented intensity. Today, the MC-21 certification and testing program is advancing at a breathtaking pace. By mid-2025, one prototype had already completed 19 flights, clocking more than 70 hours in the air. Though this accounts for only 18% of the required test campaign, what matters most is that the process has never once been halted. Surprisingly, in the past, while the global aviation industry staggered under the weight of the pandemic, the MC-21 kept flying. A senior Russian official put it with striking confidence. The most important thing is that the testing program never stopped. And so, despite every challenge, I am certain this aircraft very soon will emerge as the backbone of Russia's domestic civil aviation. Indeed, for a deeper look into the remarkable progress of the MC-21 program, we should examine the demanding and meticulous flight test process that the prototypes have undergone. Since the memorable milestone of its first takeoff on May 20, 17, the team of engineers and test pilots has accumulated an impressive record of over 1,000 test flights. Over 1,000 test flights? It is a powerful testament to the perseverance, relentless effort, and steady progress on the path to realizing the dream of an aviation industry made in Russia. In its early stages, the first flight lasted a mere 30 minutes, at a limited altitude of 1,000 meters. The initial goal was extremely cautious, to evaluate the basic stability and controllability of the new aircraft. However, over time, the scope and complexity of the tests increased exponentially. The Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute, one of the world's leading aviation research centers, has played a pivotal role in designing and executing a series of comprehensive tests. These trials were not limited to evaluating flight performance. They also delved into checking the structural durability of the wings and fuselage under various load conditions, the stable operation of the auxiliary power units, APU, that ensure an independent energy source, the efficiency of the lighting system in all situations, the ability to maintain a comfortable cabin environment through the air conditioning and pressurization systems, and especially the reliability of the complex flight control software, the heart and brain of any modern aircraft. Moreover, to ensure the MC-21 can operate safely and efficiently in all environments, Russian engineers did not hesitate to put the aircraft through the most severe challenges. In-depth tests on the engine's water resistance were conducted to ensure that this aircraft's power would continue to function stably even in wet conditions. Notably, seasonal testing in the freezing conditions of Russia's harsh climate has become an invaluable natural laboratory. These tests allow engineers to collect real-world data, which is then used to refine the design and systems to cope with the challenges that extreme weather can bring. And then, the annual statistics further highlight the extraordinary efforts of the development team. In 2023, a total of 114 flights were completed, with over 365 hours of cumulative flight time. This is a testament to the urgent and continuous testing pace. By 2024, although the number of flights had slightly decreased to 52, the total flight time still reached an impressive 181 hours. This indicates a focus on more complex and prolonged tests. Non-stop there, recognizing the importance of shortening the time it takes to put the MC-21 into commercial service, program managers have adopted a strategy of distributing flight hours and flights among multiple prototypes. Currently, a second MC-21 is being urgently prepared to join the testing race. The participation of the second prototype not only helps share the massive workload, but also provides more data and diverse perspectives on the aircraft's performance and reliability. However, despite the immense time pressure, the principle of safety remains paramount. Every stage of the testing process strictly adheres to international aviation safety procedures and standards, ensuring that when the aircraft officially serves passengers, it will be an absolutely safe aircraft. Hold on, everything is about to get even more surprising. But before continuing, don't forget to like, share, and hit subscribe. 
thanks a ton. But even that alone does not fully reflect Russia's determination to localize its aviation industry. And you know what? They are doing something far bigger, launching nothing less than a revolution in aircraft engines. This is the true core of the localization program, where a seemingly insurmountable challenge has turned into a breakthrough achievement. Aircraft engines, long considered the exclusive pride of Western aerospace technology, are being reinvented from A to Z, transformed into a sophisticated electronic masterpiece entirely made in Russia. To confront giants like Pratt & Whitney and CFM, Russia unveiled the PD-14 engine. This is not just a replacement engine, it is a bold declaration of technological sovereignty, a direct competitor to the world's most advanced engines, such as the CFM Leap and the PW-1000G. The first flight of the MC-21310 powered by the PD-14 in December 2020 was more than just a test. It was a historic milestone, signaling the rise of a new aviation empire. So, what makes the PD-14 so special? Russian engineers have applied 3D aerodynamic design techniques to every component, optimizing airflow and boosting efficiency to new levels. But the true highlights lie in the hidden technologies beneath. The hollow fan blades built with diffusion bonding technology are not only lightweight but also incredibly durable. This reduces the overall weight of the engine, directly improving flight performance. The compressor is a technological marvel, combining titanium alloys with nickel-based materials to maximize strength. The combustion chamber is lined with high temperature resistant materials and ceramic thermal coatings, ensuring durability and resilience against overheating. On top of that, the PD-14 was designed with a modular architecture, a secret weapon that makes maintenance dramatically simpler. Individual components can be serviced without dismantling the entire engine, slashing downtime for airlines, a game-changing competitive advantage. Yet the battle does not end there. The PD-14 faces fierce competition from entrenched Western rivals like the PW-1000G and CFM Leap, which power market-dominating aircraft such as the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX. In technical terms, the difference may appear marginal, just 2% to 5% in fuel efficiency, thrust, or weight. But in aviation, such small margins translate into enormous long-term operating cost differences. Russia, however, has a strategy of its own. The PD-14's gas generator is 12% to 15% larger than that of its rivals, a design decision that at first seems minor but in fact holds the key to the future. It reveals that the engine is purpose-built for upgrades, paving the way for more powerful variants like the PD-14M and PD-18R, expected to deliver up to 18 tons of thrust. True, its current bypass ratio is 8.51 compared to the Leap 1A's 11.1, suggesting slightly lower efficiency in drag reduction and fuel burn. But don't worry, there is still another game-changing secret. One of the PD-14's most striking advantages is its ability to operate with turbine inlet temperatures 60 to 80 degrees Celsius lower than its competitors. This lower thermal load not only reduces engine wear and extends maintenance cycles, but also slashes maintenance costs. According to United Engine Corporation, the PD-14 can deliver operating costs that are 2.5% to 3% lower than rival engines. While some raw thrust may be sacrificed, the long-term economic benefits are undeniable. Beyond performance, the engine was engineered to comply with stringent global noise regulations, offering quieter operation than its competitors, an invaluable edge at airports with strict noise restrictions. It also incorporates emissions reduction technologies, aligning with the global push toward greener aviation. These innovations not only cut carbon output but also enhance the engine's market appeal. In short, the PD-14 has demonstrated remarkable performance across varied operating conditions. It was designed to perform efficiently at high altitudes, maintaining both thrust and fuel economy. Its lower turbine inlet temperatures reduce wear, ensuring reliable performance even in demanding environments. The engine also responds quickly to thrust changes, boosting both safety and operational efficiency. Moreover, it achieves lower fuel consumption across all flight phases, making it highly attractive to airlines that prioritize both performance and cost efficiency. All these elements position the PD-14 as a truly competitive option in the global market, an engine that draws airlines seeking not just raw performance, but also sustainable economics. And that is the hidden secret behind the MC-21's success. It is not merely an aircraft, but the centerpiece of a fully self-sufficient technological ecosystem. And that is a part of something not everyone can accomplish. Not just build an aircraft, this country has an audacious goal of forging an entirely independent supply chain. This is more than a manufacturing project, 
It is a strategic maneuver designed to secure Russia's aviation sovereignty and shield the industry from the crippling weight of international sanctions. Indeed, the MC-21 is now equipped with more than 70 domestically produced components, ranging from avionics and cabin pressurization systems to cockpit displays and lighting equipment. The degree of localization has surged dramatically, with the ultimate target set at an astonishing 97% Russian-made parts. Achieving this has demanded relentless innovation. Special endurance trials have been conducted to guarantee the resilience of these homegrown systems and to ensure that the engines are safeguarded against environmental factors such as water ingestion. Yakov PJSC and Aerocomposite JSC, two cornerstone companies in the project, have been continuously refining design solutions, learning from operational realities, and overcoming existing limitations with determination and precision. A pivotal example of this evolution is prototype number 0013, which has undergone a complete overhaul at the Irkutsk aviation plant. This aircraft does not merely represent another step in development, it marks the end of the prototype stage and signals the dawn of true serial production. In it, one can see the embodiment of Russia's grand vision, an aviation ecosystem no longer dependent on foreign suppliers, but standing tall on its own foundations. So what is the future of MC-21 in Russian aviation? The MC-21 is not only a symbol of Russia's aviation industry, but also a formidable competitor. With a seating capacity ranging from 132 to 211 passengers, depending on configuration, and a maximum range of up to 6,000 kilometers, the MC-21 is positioned to compete directly with popular models such as the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737. Mass deliveries to airlines, including Aeroflot, are expected to begin once the certification process is completed by the end of summer 2026. This will mark a pivotal milestone, as the first aircraft will officially take to the skies on commercial routes. To date, more than 20 MC-21 aircraft are in various stages of assembly. As many as 14 fuselages are currently being manufactured, some already completed, and nine others are under development. This clearly shows that Russia is ready for a mass production race. The MC-21 program has achieved many critical objectives, from transitioning to the use of fully domestic components, to preparing for serial production. More than 1,000 rigorous test flights have proven the aircraft's reliability and safety. As certification accelerates and deployment on both domestic and international routes becomes a reality, this aircraft will no longer remain just an ambitious project. It will become a new symbol of Russian civil aviation and a dangerous threat to the Western giants.